In this video, we'll review how to find the volume of a pyramid. To begin, let's start by defining two types of pyramids. First, the right pyramid. The right pyramid is a pyramid where the vertex of the pyramid is located directly above the center of the base. That is opposed to an oblique pyramid. In the oblique pyramid, the vertex is located somewhere other than over the center of the base. Imagine that vertex at the top on the uh, right pyramid has been pulled to the side, and that forms an oblique pyramid. Now either way, the volume of a pyramid is going to be found by using one-third of base area times height. You just have to be careful what the height of the pyramid actually is. So let's look at some examples now. Here is a pyramid. It is a square-based pyramid, based on the directions, and is showing to have a height of 6 feet. Because it is a square-based pyramid, where the sides are 2 by 2, we can say the volume is going to be one-third the square's area times the height of 6. With the picture equation, it'll look like this. Again, one-third the area of the square times the height of 6. To find the area of the square, we multiply base times height, or here 2 times 2, or 2 squared, and the volume is one-third of 2 times 2, times 6. Computing this, 4 times 6 is 24, and then divided by 3 is going to give me a volume of 8 cubic feet. Now remember, volume is always a three-dimensional measurement, so it's always some form of units cubed. All right, let's try a little bit harder example now. Here, we have another square pyramid, and we're told that the uh, volume is one of the things we're looking for. But we're also going to find the slanted height and the surface area. Now, in the direction slanted height, let's talk about that for a second. Slanted height, or slant height, is the height that you would actually use to find the total surface area. The slanted height is actually the height of the actual triangular face here, versus the 8 meters, which is the actual height of the pyramid, which is what we'll use for volume. So let me say that again. The height we use for volume, the slant height we use for total surface area. Now turning our attention to the little right triangle in the center of this figure, we're going to need to figure out what the slanted height is. To do that, we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. If the entire side is 30 meters, then the half of that is going to give me the, the um, base of that triangle, which is 15 meters. Again, half of 30 gave me the 15. Using Pythagorean theorem, the slant height squared will equal the 15 squared plus the 8 squared making sure we justify Pythagorean Theorem. 15 squared is 225, 8 squared is 64, add together and you get 289, and then take the square root. It turns out the slant height is 17 meters. We have the slant height, so now we're ready to turn our attention to the total surface area. For this figure, we have the one base, which is the 30 by 30 square, and because the square has four equal sides, all of the triangles rising off of this are going to have an equal area. So we say we have the area of the square, plus the four congruent triangles. The area of the square is base times height, or 30 times 30, plus the four of each triangle, which will be half of base times height, or half of 30 times 17. But remember, there's four of them. So we've got the 30 by 30 square, plus the four triangles, which are each half of seven times 15, 17 times 30. Multiplying this out, 30 times 30 is 900, four times half is two, two times 17 is 34, and 34 times 30 is gonna be 1020. Adding together, we get 1,920 meters squared for the total surface area. The volume is going to be one-third base area times height. To do this, we go one-third, the square's area, and then times the height. What did we say we are going to use for the height again? Hopefully you remembered it's the 8. The height of the pyramid is the actually what you use for the height when you do volume. The 17, which is the slanted height, is used for TSA. So setting it up, it's going to look like this. So we're going to go one-third of 30 times 30 times 8. 30 times 30 is 900 times the 8, but then divide by 3. So multiplying that out, we're going to see it's 2,400, and because it's volume, that'll be a three-dimensional measurement, so it's meters cubed. Let's try one more of these now. This one's going to be a little bit tougher. This is a rectangular prism. Because we have a rectangular-based prism, it's not going to be four congruent triangles when we do the... Um, total surface area. So instead, let's look at what we were given. The rectangle for the base has dimensions of 18 by 10. That means when we do the total surface area, there's going to be two of the rectangle, or sorry, two of the triangles that have a base of 18 and two of them that have a base of 10. Again, rectangles have the two sides that are congruent and then a different two sides that are congruent. So we'll have two triangles that are congruent and another two different triangles that are congruent. We don't need to find the slanted heights this time because they're given. 
the one triangle that uses a base of 18 has a height of 13, and the triangle that has a base of 10 has a height of 15. So setting up my TSA picture is going to be um, a little different. So let's do that one second. Let's start with volume. The volume is going to be one third times the area of the rectangle times the height of 12. Again, 12 is the height of the um, actual pyramid, so that's the number we use for volume. The rectangle is base times height, so it's going to be one third of the 18 times 10 times the 12. Multiplying this out, one third of 18 is 6, 6 times 10 is 60, and then 60 times 12 gives me that 720. Again, it's volume, so it's three-dimensional, so it's units cubed. Go ahead and try the TSA based on what we just talked about. Pause the video and resume it when you're ready. I'll give you a moment. Hopefully you set the picture equation something like this. We have the base, which is the rectangle. The rectangle has the two sides that are 18, which means two of the triangles have a base of 18. And the rectangle also has two sides that are 10s, so there's two triangles with a base of 10. Make sure you match the heights. The triangle with the base of 18, based on the picture, has a height of 13. And the triangles with the base of 10 have a height of 15. Now let's calculate it. The area of the rectangle is base times height, which is going to be 18 times 10. There's two triangles, each of half of 18 times 13 area, and then two triangles that have a um, half of 10 times 15. So it'll look like this. Computing it, 18 times 10 is going to be 180. The two times half cancels, and it leaves us 18 times 13, which is 234. And then the last set of triangles, two times half cancels, and it leaves us 10 times 15, which is 150. Adding these together, we get 564 meters squared for the total surface area. All right, thank you for watching this video and hopefully it helped you understand how to calculate the volume and total surface area of our pyramids. Thank you for watching.